Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ, and I wanted to continue the series of experimenting with the new brush strokes tool add on in Blender. If you watch the previous videos where I experimented, I'm actually using a blend file made by the Blender team. So this time I wanted to create my own scene. This scene is inspired by the Taj Mahal. Okay, when I'm creating the scene, I really sped this part up so I can get to the brush strokes tools add on and experimenting with that. And I'm gonna have chapters in the description in case you just wanna automatically just go to that part. And I chose the Taj Mahal just as a way to say thank you to those who watch my channel from India. India is consecutively right under the United States of people who watch my content. So thank you so much. Yeah, and for the trees, I just added a cylinder and then on top of that, a UV sphere and I just stretched that out to make the trees that you see in the scene. I wanted the water to look more like the reference image, so I played around with nodes, adding a color ramp node and a gradient texture. And right here, I'm just trying to see. And maybe play around with the mapping. I also added a texture coordinate, but I ended up not using that. So let me, I, was, I did the same thing with the sky, just experimenting with nodes and shout out to ChatGPT for helping me with this. For the background, I made sure I was in the world shader editor and right here I'm plugging in a gradient texture to the background. Let's see how that does. Okay. So right here, I'm a little stuck. So I went to chat GPT <laughs> to figure out what to do next. And chat GPT helped me right here. So I also added a mapping node. And in a second, I'm going to add a color node. And I'm gonna put it in between the gradient texture and the background nodes. I want the sky to more closely match the reference image with blue being on the top and like a white slash pinkish to be on the bottom. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Okay, this is the base model that we'll be using to experiment with the brush strokes tools add on. It's free in my Gumroad link is in the description so let's get started with the fun part finally we're getting to the fun part so let me go to the brush strokes tools add-on i just press in so i'm going to start first with the ground on the left side so i'm going to click on it and then click fill please watch my previous videos if you haven't to watch how to install the brush strokes tools add-on so i always like to go to material i click the number to the right like the four and i will create a new material each time i discussed this in my previous brush strokes tools videos just so when the reason why i do that is because when it's time for me to do the the building the trees i don't want to use the same material i want it to be different every time Okay, so let me play with the brush color. I want like a dark green. Now I'm in the shape section and let me adjust the width, the length, and the brush size. Again, I'm just playing with these. I I want the brush strokes to be smaller and I need to also increase the density to make it look like like grass. Okay, and this is let me fast forward to me playing around with it a little bit more. We're getting there, but I'm going to go back to material cuz if you scroll down, you can adjust the brush style and the effects. Maybe that will get me closer to what I'm looking for. Thank you. 
Okay, off camera, I increased the density and I'm gonna get rid of that black. So I'm gonna turn off back face culling. So that usually gets rid of the black underneath the strokes. So let me, I kind of like fade. Mm, rake. Crayon. Let me play with the brushes again. Again, when you're in brush strokes tools add-on, you're just experimenting. You're honestly kind of like going through every setting and playing with it until you find what you think matches the scene the best. That's my favorite part. I ended up with the feathery brush and the crayon effect. I might change it later, but for right now, I'm gonna stick to it. What if I turn up the roughness? Okay, yeah, let's turn that up. I'm gonna go back to shape. I really need to increase the density. For the density, I think I ended up with 0.115. I changed the brush to oil paint patches dry and I want to change the effect. We're getting there. I'm just not, uh, just not there yet. I'm missing something. Let me go back to shape and continue to play with the density. Okay, I've spent a lot of time on the ground. It's time to move on. Let me scroll down and just play with the effects. Am I gonna keep canvas and rake on? Yeah, I'll just keep both of, both of the effects. That's fine for now. I would just press in to hide that really fast. So I wanna copy what I did on the left side to the right side. I went from edit mode to object mode, so I'm selecting the right side and then I'm going to select the left side by holding down shift and clicking the drop down, copy all to selected objects. So that will copy everything I did on the left side to the right side. Up next is the crown jewel, the Taj Mahal. So let me zoom in. I'm going to select it, select fill, and then go to material to create a new material brush. Because if I didn't do that, it would affect the, I basically be using the same material that I use for the ground, which is what I do not want. Now that that's done, let's, I'm gonna turn off use brush color and try to find a color that more closely matches the tan color of the Taj Mahal. Maybe decrease the color variation. Let me turn off back. I don't really notice a difference, but I'm just gonna keep it off. Maybe increase the roughness. Now it's time to find a brush. Right now I'm using the default. Let's see. I ended up with the feathery brush and the crayon effect. Let's go to shape. Again, doing the same thing. Just, I need to really increase the density. But before I do that, I wanna edit the flow. I don't like how it's going every which way. So I'm gonna click edit flow and then select the brush, sorry, selected. And I'm gonna draw so that it goes from left to right. Okay, that's good. So now I'm gonna go in and adjust the settings under shape. 
Mm, okay, seeing these edit flow lines are distracting me, so I'm gonna go up and deselect the overlays so I can see the Taj Mahal better. After playing around a bit, I think I'm gonna keep the default brush and yeah, I might keep the crayon. Yeah, I think it looks better with the crayon effect. And I lowered the opacity. So yeah, that is the Taj Mahal. And I'm gonna copy what I did from the Taj Mahal to the pillars that are around the building. And I did that previously with the ground. So I'm gonna fast forward that. But I thought it would look a little bit better. So I'm gonna add a blank grease pencil just to do like the, the detailing that you see on the Taj Mahal and the pillars around it. I made sure my stroke placement was on surface and I just used a brown inking pen to draw the detailing and I lowered the opacity. I forgot to record that part, my fault, but that's done. Just don't look at it up close. It's not the best, but we're gonna move on to the trees so again select it click fill and right now it's using the same material that I use on the Taj Mahal so I need to go to material and create a new material specifically for the trees or is it shrubbery shrubbery I'm just playing with the brush color metallic and roughness before I go down to find a more suitable brush. Off camera, I actually updated the brush strokes tools add on. You can go to your edit and preferences and if you go to the brush stroke tools, sometimes it will have like update and the brush menu has changed. I think there was a couple brushes that were added. I played with these settings for a while and I ended up just with the default brush and right here, no effects. I'm gonna go to shape. I really need to increase the density. I was playing with the stroke variation and right here I thought at the time, I thought I was done. So I started copying what I did here to the other trees, but actually I wasn't done. I was looking at my tree, shrubbery, whatever you want to call it, and I was looking at the Taj Mahal and it's coming out more. So mine just wasn't matching and also it was darker. So I actually went back to the tree materials and I darkened the color. It took me a while, but I edited the flow like I had done previously and I went down to stroke variation, which is under shape. And I played with the settings to make it look like the tree was sticking out up like it's doing in the reference image. Almost there, maybe, I think it's increasing the roughness I want it, I just, I need it to be darker. Okay, increasing the roughness and increasing the metallic. I think that looks good. So I am going to copy that to the rest of the trees slash shrubs, I guess trees. Off camera, I colored in the pedestrian sidewalk. Is that what it's called? Um, like the edges of the fountain and I use the same material that I use for the Taj Mahal and for the water I thought it would be really good to add a grease pencil because you see the reference image you see the reflection of the Taj Mahal in the water and that's what I want to create I ended up using the 
marker brush the most and I'm just adding the finishing touches right here almost done I just need to do the sky and I added a new grease pencil blank and I found out what's best is making sure the lights is enabled and making sure the blend mode is in multiply. I added another layer on top of the multiply blend mode. This is in add blend mode. It just makes the white brighter and that's what I like. I think that looks okay. I just need to scale it out to make it a little bit bigger. The sky, I mean. But before I do that, I'm going to remove the reference image just to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go. So let me scale it. Let me bring it down just a little bit. Okay, I think that looks good. Let me turn everything off so we can just see the scene. Yeah, I think we did a good job. Again, the blend file, the base blend file, the link is in the description. It's free if you want to play with it on your own. But thank you guys so much for watching as we created a scene like the Taj Mahal and Blender using the brush strokes. This is Joyce and Anthony aka JJ. Until next time.